So just taking a look at this match from La Liga, which is Granada against Cadiz. And you can see that it's 1-0 to Granada at, at the half time and Granada into 1.35, as you can see. Anyway, uh, plug this into the sheet. Now, the expected correct score is a 3-0 win to Granada at the moment. So that's definitely some scope for getting involved on the uh, on the correct score market and just just to stress i mean you don't have to get involved in a correct score market this is all a uh, demonstration of various ways to interpret the xg and then use it but anyway look if we're gonna go for uh, a three nil win to granada well to get there it's gotta probably go not probably well it has to doesn't it, it has to go to two nil at least so we will cover that and then we will cover what is now the target score and also the 2-1 which is it, it incorporates a bit of that plan a and plan b which we've spoken about a lot in the uh, correct score mastery so uh, we've covered those score lines and then we're going to trade from there so let's just uh, get that in the market and we'll dutch it just to just to try and keep this simple and yeah we'll trade from there so even if they don't hit the the current expected correct score but they get close we should still be in a profitable situation but anyway Let's see what happens. It's 1-0 to Granada at halftime, and we're involved in the correct score market. We're in the 59th minute. No real change on the XG. No real change on the score line. But there is a change in the number of people on the pitch. There's a red card for Cadiz, and this was on the, the 54th minute. And, you know, the red cards and football trading, is, it's, it's often a bit of a tricky situation as to what to do. When, when there is a red card however this actually strengthens our position really okay we were going in favor of Granada we were going in favor of Granada scoring at least two more so if anything that really is going to be yeah something favorable so there's no need to abandon the trade some people do like to abandon trades when there is a red card but in this particular case I don't see any reason not to that's actually in our favor Cadiz are going to be weaker which means there's less chance of them scoring or springing some sort of surprise and yeah more chance of us hitting at least the two nil okay as a minimum and you can see that uh the markets have gone in our favor a little bit there as well anyway just an update 59 minutes granada one cadiz nil cadiz now down to 10 men let's see what happens next 70 minutes on the clock and granada have just doubled the lead it's two nil to Granada and so we're on the 2-0 scoreline remember we, we you know we're expecting a 3-0 so anyway the first thing to do and you know one of the principles of correct score trading for those who've seen a lot of our correct score videos is we're going to remove the risk from the trade here okay we're still trying to go for that 3-0 to Granada we're still trying to go for that but if we don't make it then if it stays 2-0 we're gonna end up with at least uh, the 39 pounds of profit let's say Cadiz pull one back make it 2-1 then we're up to 2-5-5 but uh, on the 3-0 it's a 2-5-5 also so we're in a good position because we're in a position now where we're not gonna lose any money and there is also the potential to cash out for a very nice amount but we're gonna try and see if we can get that third goal okay let's see what happens it's 2-0 to Granada we're expecting uh, the third goal and I will update the numbers shortly just to double check on that but anyway let's see what happens 71 minutes on the clock let's see if we can get it so a deep deep into injury time on this one it's still 2-0 to Granada so it doesn't look like we're going to hit that 3-0 score line but that's absolutely fine okay we we you saw how we entered the trade the reasoning for entering the trade we went for that 3-0 score line but obviously with trading correct scores you're going to cover scores around it 2-0 was one of them and we're on that 2-0 and we're still going to make a profit okay and there was opportunities to take a bigger profit and obviously that sort of thing is really just down to your own particular trading style however the important thing and the most crucial part of all of these little demonstrations we're showing you it's not really about the trading it's about how we're finding the trades okay and you saw how this trade went i'd say it went pretty smoothly and uh, we were in a strong position once it went to 2-0 we were just trying to wait on that third goal hasn't materialized in this particular match 
But if we keep getting involved in matches like this, we're definitely going to hit that third goal. And that's where we're going to hit the, the much bigger profit. But anyway, look, we still made a profit and we're out. Granada 2, Cadiz 0. Looks like that's going to be the final score. We've made a profit, even though we called it slightly wrong, didn't we? So anyway, just something to keep in mind. Anyway, we're out. We're out. Granada 2, Cadiz 0. I hope you enjoyed checking that clip out and if you are enjoying the clips we're sharing on this channel at the moment showing how you can use live XG data to find those good value football trades without having to sit and watch the match for hours on end then remember you can also download this free ebook to help you learn more about it. The link is in the description. You can scan that QR code or just visit XG footballtrading.com and you're going to learn inside this ebook why live xg data is changing the game for football traders and how you can take advantage of it the main elements of interpreting xg data to find those profitable trades just like in the clips we're showing you and bottom line how to get started with implementing xg into your football trading and instantly upgrading your skill set and increasing your profits as I said click the link in the description or visit xgfootballtrading.com or is or just scan that QR code that is on the screen. Fill out your best email address and we will send that book right to you. And keep in mind that what you just saw was a short clip and we've got plenty more where that came from. The video on the screen now should direct you to the full video where you can get more information and see more similar live trades and how they played out. So go click on that video and we will see you in that next video or the next clip.